Mr. Bling, we love for you and reviews on YouTube. Come along and watch this video. Mr. Blink has a anchor's great bits for you to watch. Hey there, YouTube. How are you guys doing? It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Sri Lanka and I'm smoking the first bowl of the day. I'm smoking some uh, university flake as uh, I just opened up a tin about three weeks ago of, uh, you know, one year aged university flake and, uh, you know, I've been having that uh, right throughout. I've been not pipe smoking much these days. as I'm not most of the time home to enjoy a bowl but today here I am and I'm smoking a pipe. Housekeeping my it's actually a uh, refurbished pipe and uh, this was a Denicotia pipe that is a German made uh, pipe that I found in an antique shop here in Sri Lanka. Uh, about three years, maybe two, two and a half years ago. And um, this pipe comes with a Milsham line bow and it's got a big bow. You can hold two university flakes quite easily in this. And uh, when I did get it, it was in not so good a shape and it had a big flaw in the pipe. And uh, the problem was that the, the stem now this is a new stem that was done by uh, Philip and I did a video that he makes some cool pipes. He also does really, really good uh, pipe repairs and this pipe, it was like fully varnished. So, uh, you know, and the varnish had, um, you know, come off in most of the places and it looked pathetic, the pipe, the, the bowl and the stem had like two pieces. So um, whenever you fix it and we try to smoke it, no matter how much you pull you just get air and all the the, the smoke starts leaving from uh, some gaps i tried to fix it myself but i couldn't so you know the pipe was smoked about three four times and just left because uh, you know i couldn't fix it myself and uh, i couldn't send it to uh, you know out of the country to get it made as i didn't know who's going to make it for me i have issues sending currency out of my country so you know a lot of problems so i just left the pipe And I didn't get it fixed. Then I met this really cool guy, uh, Philip. Links on the page, guys. And um, I told him about this pipe, and he said, "Send it to me. I will fix it up for you." And I did. And look at that! I get a brand spanking new stem, and he has removed all the the uh, wax. Uh, I'm sorry, the um, the varnish from the pipe and he had the sand paper it and carnival wax it looks absolutely awesome a lot of bird's eye on this pipe sadly my cam doesn't have auto focus so you can't see it. this is what the pipe looked like before this Yep, it wasn't looking that nice, but now I absolutely love it. <coughs> I've been really enjoying Milsham line pipes and uh, this is the first one that I got, but I couldn't enjoy this. But uh, Terry Love UK sent me a Milsham line pipe. That was this one. It has a small bowl, but I really started enjoying Milsham line pipes because he sent me not only this one, <coughs> He also sent me a Milsham pipe. You can see that white one over there in the corner. So this pipe was also sent by uh, Terry Love UK. And I love Milsham line pipes. I would prefer a mirror line or a Milsham pipe better than a briar. 
the flavors are much more cleaner in the pipe and uh, and for some reason I just love it and uh, saying that this is just a video to give a good hi to all you guys I was just watching some YouTube videos today as I've been not having much time in the past months to actually watch you guys YouTube channels and I had a couple of videos that I did watch of uh, whatever you guys have uploaded recently and it was really fun to finally just have the time to sit down and <coughs> watch some YouTube videos so saying that guys I'm going to say adios amigos from Sri Lanka Phil thank you so much I really enjoyed this pipe and uh, you have done a super awesome job of actually refurbishing it so guys if any one of you guys have a pipe that you need refurbishing he's the man the links on the page go click him go chat with him he'll sort out your job 